Justin Shea. And Justin is the first author of a paper that we just published called Bosniak Classification of Cystic Renal Masses Version 2019 Comparison of Categorization Using CT and MRI. <coughs> so, um, we want to tell you a little bit about our paper and some of the thoughts about uh, what went into it. So, first of all, um, Justin, maybe you can tell us what we studied. Yeah, so the Bosnian classification version 2019 uh, came out last year, and it's a new way to systematically approach uh, cystic renal masses. Uh, and what makes this different from the prior classification system is that this one uh, has uh, numerically quantified features. Um, and it's a very systematic way to uh, classify um, risk of malignancy uh, in a patient with cystic renal masses. Uh, so this is a proposed classification system that hasn't been validated yet. So one of the goals of our study was to show um, how this performs compared to the prior system. Um, so yeah, we looked at CT versus MRI, and we went about comparing the two modalities in a, a pretty unique way. So maybe Justin, you can tell us about the study design. Yeah, so we had a total of 68 cystic renal masses. Um, and each renal mass, we looked at 10 features, uh, such as uh, the thickness of the septa, the number of septa, how thick the wall is, um, wh whether there were enhancing components or not. Um, and we also looked at it for both CT and MRI, and a total of three radiologists. So if you estimate, it was about approximately 70 uh, masses times two uh, modalities times three radiologists. Uh, and 10 features, and uh, that gets you about 1,400 um, per radiologist uh, of cells to analyze. Um, so it's a very extensive analysis, uh, and we looked at inner rater uh, reliability, so how well the radiologist agreed both in the individual features as well as the overall categories, um, and whether or not CT or MRI upgraded the lesion categorization relative to the other modality. Um, and so what did we find? Uh, so first we found that both classification systems have substantial inter-reader uh, reliability, uh, which is really good. Our capital values were about 0.7, um, and it was slightly higher with version 2019 uh, compared to the prior classification systems. Um, and this was across all three radiologists who had varied levels of experience. Um, the second most salient finding was that we found that CT and MRI overall classified lesions uh, or cystic renal masses at about the same categorization. In other words, one modality did not systematically um, categorize or upgrade uh, the mass relative to the other one. And this is slightly different from the prior studies which show that MRI tends to upgrade lesions um, more so than CT. Using the old Using or the original Bosnian classification. Yeah. But with the new there's no um, categorization of um, okay, cool. So, and then why do you think that the results are so significant? Uh, so, the, uh, the Bosnian classification system has been used uh, for at least 20 years now, um, and it, it categorizes the risk of malignancy um, based on uh, based on uh, individual radiologic features. Um, cystic masses are actually very common, um, and so radiologists and urologists need the system to be able to risk stratify. Uh, the level of confidence of malignancy, as well as to guide management. Um, so hopefully, uh, with our results, we'll find that there's greater adoption of this new classification system, and that might improve triage of patients with cystic renal masses. Great, and also that you could use CT or MRI. You don't need to try to use one versus the other. Either one is okay. Um, great, and then finally, what motivated you to actually do this study? Uh, so I think uh, this new classification system is, is very exciting because it, it builds on research that has been done over the last two decades. Um, and being able to apply it um, without knowing what the results would be is very exciting to me. Um, we started off the project not knowing if this um, was a system that would uh, could be validated um, compared to the old system. Um, and so we, we weren't sure what the results were, and, and I think that made it very exciting. And the results, I think, are very promising for the future. Great. Thanks, Justin. Thanks, everyone. Hope that he will read the paper and provide any uh, comments or questions uh, to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks.